to all of you all my media friends who have gathered uh, i can see all my all the faces that you are a part of have been part of my events and i'm very thankful so basically we are here of course to celebrate the 113th birth birth anniversary of saint mother teresa and this is the event that's going to felicitate a few people from the uae as well so she was born on the 26th of august 1910 and the founder of the missionaries of Char of charity which grew to have over 4500 nuns across 133 countries as of 2012 she worked with the poorest of the poor and received several honors including the ramen maxis ap prize and the nobel peace prize and then it all started with the all india minority and weaker sections council a non pro political organization established by the late prafulla chandra sen former chief min chief minister of west bengal and mr anthony arun bishwas along with many other dignitaries The council has been working for the welfare of the weaker sections of the community. After the death of Saint Teresa in 1997, the council formed the Mother Teresa International Millennium Award Committee and gave them the responsibility to recognize and give away awards every year to eminent personalities who have excelled in the field of education, science, culture, sports, social work, medicine, industry and politics in the country and outside. The Mother Teresa's lifetime Mother Teresa lifetime achievement awards are given to people in India and abroad who have practically served the poorest of the poor in their own capacity. First of all I'd like to uh, call upon stage Dr. T H Ireland Principal St James School Kolkata and chairman of the committee. Well I'm from a, a school St James School which is just directly opposite Mother House the place where she is buried. the place where she has her orphanage the missionaries of charity and the children from that place would regularly come with her to our school to play and i feel that our school is blessed because we had the mother walk on our grounds and ever since then I always felt that the school should be more associated with her activities and that is of love and selfless sacrifice which she followed right through her life and being part of this organization is a fulfillment of that kind right. and I'm so happy to be here to say that we at our committee meetings are always concerned about how we can always participate and carry out the activities that the mother who showed us right through her life we have dubai's own mr sham bhartia um patron of the award and the sh who's a well known businessman and founder of valum steel and a serious sports patron my association with a mother teresa institution and uh, and minority this awards are uh, at least 15 years old and uh, this started with a uh, uh, my friend uh, akhtar ali who was coach of indian tennis and akhtar ali Akhtar Bhai, who passed away a few years ago, and he was also a committee member of uh, this association. And uh, he first nominated me because he was my friend and he knew my activities here. Uh, from that time uh, on Mother's Birthday today, I always try to go to uh, Calcutta, and me and Mr. Biswas. Arun Biswas, we will buy, go to the markets and buy the fruits, and uh, he will arrange uh, food package. And 
we'll go i'll go with him and distribute this package and all with my own hands i will have dubai's very own sacha jafri come to us on stage is a much celebrated name worldwide so i'm i'm an artist i'm inspired by i'm not inspired by other artists i'm inspired by humanitarians which is a weird thing but i think my inspiration for my work is inspired by human emotion and the four people that have inspired me the most on my journey are mr mandela sheikh zayed gandhi and mother teresa um so to be here tonight is such an honor uh, in honor of her birthday welcome mr ahmed al falasi who has driven all his way from abu dhabi and he's the hope maker of the uae and he was conferred this title by his highness sheikh mohammed bin rashid al maktoum ruler of dubai our beloved ruler yeah good evening uh you know it's a story this is my first times i do some kind of charity on medication medical uh, it was at the death of my mother uh, she died from uh, dialysis sessions and you know the dialysis session it's uh, it's weakness weakening the heart and i decide after she died i decide to do anywhere i go just one machine to help them to do dialysis uh i went i have a shop which is uh, like uh four by four things and i i decide to go to nairobi to do some kind of uh, business things but this business uh, changed to a charity work it was uh, the ceremony opening of our first uh, embassy in uh, nairobi and uh, the ambassador say we are going to Nair uh, to mombasa in 2 3 days i say fine we finish our work and we went to mombasa the, we had uh, some functions after the function we we had uh, lunch and the governor of the mombasa he said uh, guys look he was pointing like bar dubai dubai and bar dubai and where the grey mackenzie very short the sh small short distance he point the hospital been built by the japanese over 120 years ago in mombasa wow. yes and he decide uh, to go tomorrow i said no i would love to go today not tomorrow a big warm welcome to usha ji so usha ji through her music has spread the message of love unity peace harmony tolerance integrity and happiness from clubs to concerts across the world she has performed in more than 16 indian languages and is ill 7 17 okay one more and is electrifying on stage i've had the occasion i've just had the Happy fortune birthday. yes <laughs> um the fortune to have worked with her twice in my life and i'm very and those are great memories ma'am it is lovely namaskar namaskaram sat sri akal salaam alaikum to each and every one of you is salaam alaikum to you it's absolutely marvelous that i get an opportunity to step outside of uh, calcutta and india and uh, talk about the person who is so loved all over the world and uh, i kept thinking to myself and kept asking uh, topanda what is this mystery of the connection of mother teresa and dubai and uh, actually it's such a redundant question isn't it i should have never asked it because uh, mother was for everybody really at all times and at all places you could always think of mother if you open my bag at any time you'll find a lot of things there which have been given to me by mother Ma mainly the most wonderful thing about her was she to me she really never preached religion she didn't she just kept saying you know sing for the glory of god and sing to make people happy and sing so that they will get a smile on their face the first time i met mother of course was not when she was the mother teresa she was uh, working at the loreto convent in tally where our studio is actually and uh, she used to work with the lepers you know at that time there was a big community of uh, lepers in that area and for those of you who don't know and you're lucky not to know about leprosy and uh, 
the ills of leprosy and what it went through. It was, uh, or what we went through. And we still have a stigma attached to leprosy, right? Like so many other things. And she was a person who could just, you know, go into that leprosy, I mean, into the co colony and heal, I'm not heal, dress all the wounds of the lepers over there. Sometime you must be having negative thought, but how your thoughts are reflecting through your art? Well, I think the way I stay positive is uh, I'm inspired by human emotion. So that's the only thing that really matters to me. So I meet as many people as I can. I focus on my intentions. Um, what's interesting is if you focus on your intentions, we're made of energy. We communicate at our most poignant through energy. But our energy is made of our intentions. And when our intentions become questionable, we emit static. Energy cannot transmit through static, hence the breakdown of humanity. So it's a pretty simple equation. If we focus on our intentions and emit an energy into this world, that's our only legacy. That's our only real legacy. Because that energy enters our universe, enters the idea of universal consciousness. And that really is what we're here for, in my mind.